what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so i have uh, this video i want to share with you guys uh, many people is already talking about um, if senator abaribe you understand is uh, siding the peter obi uh, just because uh, he is an evil man or they're about all right so during an interview with um, channels television senator abaribe um expose peter obi not negatively you understand that if peter obi had won the 2023 election that nigeria wouldn't have been uh the way things are going of course uh we are already aware of the economic hardship uh the inflation and there about people is hungry uh there is a uh, hunger in uh the land you understand all right, so Senator Baribe had to, um, you know, cite Peter Obi because what a lot of them, even in National Assembly, uh, didn't expect things to, you know, to go worse than what Nigerians were thinking. I'm talking about the renewed hope or uh, there about where they promised us ever since 2015 when APC came into power, but uh, the reverse is the case. All right, so let me allow you to listen to what Abaribe have to say. If you agree with Abaribe, what he says about Peter Obi, let me know what you guys think because people are already having mixed feelings and reactions that because Peter Obi is an evil man, uh, Senator Abaribe is an evil man, that is the reason why he's talking good about uh, Peter Obi. Let me allow you to listen to what Abaribe says, then I will come back and give you my own personal opinion. Oh, man, that is the point. So why is it that this unknown government still operate with all these checkpoints you ask yourself that question there seems to be some a, 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 a big a bigger picture about the perception of the studies and i'll get to uh some of the liberalness that a lot of people perceive does not exist in the region uh first and foremost do you think that if peter we had won the election <coughs> 2023 presidential election he had become president there could have been a change in all of this. If it would be had one, you probably would have seen a better Nigeria than what we are seeing today. Number one, he will not be as nepotistic as this government. He won't. He is he, not in him. That is just who we are. We feel for the other people. So you think the Tinubu government is highly nepotistic? I, I say so. I'm not, I don't think so. I'm seeing it and we see it every day. And I'm just giving you one example. How can Ogun State have four ministers? Well, Tinubu is not from Ogun State. That is the point. So why does he favor, 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 favor Ogun State? He, look, Ogun State has only one minister. Hey, ask yourself that. What is it? So what is, it, is, it, it is it the right time for the Igbos and the South, people of the South is extraction to sit down and rethink their politics? No, uh, see, see, see what we're doing, uh, 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 Shung, because everybody continues to say that, why don't you think you will win? No, we have decided, and I'm part of those who have said that, let us go back to the Southeast and revamp the Southeast and make it more livable, better, more cohesive, and hold ourselves together. Because it's obvious that if we continue to look at Whoever comes to be president to look at us and do right, apart from Obasanjo and maybe Jonathan, I do not think that we have seen that same type of fairness. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think about the Senator Baribe's uh, remark uh, on Peter B, that uh, if Peter B had won a 2023 election, uh, the Nigerians uh we will not see what currently we are seeing and uh, what we are facing you grab all right guys um things are uh, things are tough just like i told you guys of course we are already aware that peter b is uh, mobilizing people still doing the grassroots mobilization ahead of 2027 uh, and then the the northerner on the other side has vowed not to vote uh, uh, Tinubu ahead of 2027, but yet we already know that election in Nigeria is something else, you understand? So the Northerner has vowed 
uh, that they need something different from what they are getting and what they are seeing currently. You understand uh, that they don't have plans uh, to vote in the uh, tenable ahead of 2027. And then the RNYU Consultative Forum and the other northern groups uh, has mobilized themselves uh, to look for alternative in northern president ahead of 2027. And then who will they choose is what we are asking. Will they choose uh, Tiko Abubakar or will they choose uh, Senator Kwan Kwasa? Because those are the two major contenders. But yet, on the other hand, people still insist power should remain in the South for another four years. Let me know what you guys think. Is it all about the region? Is it that? Is it ethnicity? Should we consider all those things, political party affiliation or thereabout? But however, at this point in time, Nigeria needs somebody uh, that is a kind of experience. Nigeria needs somebody irrespective of political party affiliation, irrespective of uh, ethnicity, religion or thereabout. Because if this situation is not rescued, <laughs> things uh, may be tough than this. But however, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.